I'm just messing around this 96 Martin D35, pretty rare one. It's got a bear claw top, you don't see that too much. The top reminds me more of like a custom shop guitar. This is really a special guitar, um, really great action, really sounds so old Martin Woody sound. This was really a lot of guitar plays, really easy. Um, kind of going back and forth and whether I can even sell it, man. Jeez. But I thought what I'd talk about today, because, you know, guitar improvisation is the most important tool to develop your musical tool chest and, and, and a kind of a well or wealth of knowledge. And you need to always be improvising and expanding your ear and your ability to hear musical ideas. And working in dad gads really good for your ear because it kind of forces you to be more intuitive. Uh, you know, regular tuning is fine too, but dad gad kind of has a lot of mountain in it. So when you work on dad gad stuff, it's really a... And this guitar, man, asking thirty nine ninety nine. briefly show an example of, of learning to, you know, always be resolving, always be taking an idea and going somewhere else and stretching your ear. And this involves, uh, you know, listening and getting to know different chord forms so that you begin to get that chord form in your mind and your subconscious mind. So when you're working on an idea in subconsciously you've already processed what that chord sounds like so you might hear it you know you know where it is and what it sounds like so you can go to it an example is this and this is this is a little trick I've, I've used on my dad get <laughs> Just actually just found this morning. See, that's a nice little shift, you know what I mean? It's like a little color shift, because this... always want to be working on musical ideas and tension and resolution and going from this chord to this chord in a musical way and you don't have to think a lot about it you need to listen but you need to explore your guitar so you can begin to kind of get a subconscious musical ear a reservoir kind of like a database in your subconscious of what this chord sounds like in this position what this chord sounds like in this position what it sounds like here what it sounds like here you know 
out with this. You, 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 I think Larry Coriel talked about this too, the great Larry Coriel, great player, um, is you know playing chords and, and ideas and tension and resolution and getting to know color so that you, you get the, the sound in your subconscious mind and then later you, you, you know it's work to piece this stuff together that's where the practice comes in but you know you can't become a lot more musical by just thinking and being left brain and trying to control everything you, you have to work at guitar improvisation and you have to work at composition but anyway that was my example was was this I, I think it sounds so cool <laughs> I'm just gonna stop right there for now. Anyway, this guitar is available. It's unbelievable. I'm still going back and forth on whether I can sell it. I'm asking $39.99. This is not a guitar to nickel and dime over. It, this is this is really gonna be the guitar of a lifetime for somebody. I'm still kind of chewing on whether I can let it go. It looks great. It sounds great. It's got an unbelievably rare bear claw top. This 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 top could even be older than '96. It's very, the highly figured top adds to the tone. It's, uh, it's kind of a more mature wood, great setup, one of the best setups of any Martin I've ever owned. This is really, really a nice guitar. I'm really going to miss it, and, and I'm going back and forth, I, and this is not sales bullshit. I'm going back and forth on whether I can let it go, because I haven't played it for about a month, and uh, somebody emailed me about it to this, this morning, so I got it out to, to check on something and sent him a, a, a couple extra pictures, and uh, Man, what a, what a guitar. But see, when I'm improvising in Dadgad, I have all these different ideas I can kind of draw on, you know. If you have any interest, you can email me, pokesu at gmail.com. Ask in $39.99. No big, huge discounts. I didn't get this guitar to garage sale, you know, for dirt cheap. Yeah, I, you know, I work hard and pay well to get really high quality stuff. It's worth it. Again, this is not a guitar to nickel and dime over, you know. Anyway, it sounds un it's one of the best sounding Martins I've ever had. And I used a 71 Martin D35 on my CD. I, I think this sounds better, actually. Anyway, let's all stay positive, keep the faith. Remember the universe is unfolding in time, not unraveling. Ciao.